you have a unique perspective as a CEO to be with an organization as long as you've had. And how have those changes, what insights did you get about leading that kind of multi-year transformation helped you this year in particular? You know, um, it's interesting, Vince, because I would say it's both helped and challenged me in a way, and oh. I'll answer it this way. So where I think it's helped me as a long-standing CEO of an organization and, I, you know, the journeys of transformation that I've led the organization through that you comment on. So I'm deeply familiar with our industry's challenges domestically, globally, sort of sector-wide. So I think I'm I'm lucky in a way in that I, I really have deep insights and deep foresight to what the challenges are that our industry was facing before the pandemic and have been uh, amplified by the pandemic. In a way, because I'm so steeped in the sector and the industry, there was a familiarity with some of the challenges that we were we are addressing now. And I was able to build on and leverage some of the significant changes we've made in the past. So, you know, we've gone through various iterations and transformations over the past mm -hmm. few years, and we could leverage those. The one I would use by way of example is because we are a monopoly provider in the Canadian context, you know, we have had very robust business continuity management capabilities and very robust redundancies built into our supply chain. So that was a huge help to us because we could leverage all of those for our pandemic uh, planning and preparedness. We didn't really have to start from scratch. So mm -hmm. because I've been in the organization for a while and have built up a lot of significant capabilities in the organization, we, we could leverage those uh, very readily. You know, I would almost say that as a long-standing leader, it's been a bit of a challenge and I've had to push myself very hard and, and my organization very hard is the risk of, of falling into paradigms that I'm very familiar with. So right. you know, we've made decisions in certain paradigms in the past and I always needed to challenge myself and challenge my team to say, just because those paradigms have been successful to us in the past, doesn't mean it will be successful in the current context and the current milieu of a global pandemic. And that's been a, a bit of a, a risk or a pitfall we've needed to be cognizant of because the risk would be we actually make decisions the way we've made them successfully in the past when you had the luxury of time and the luxury of, of non-pandemic uh, decision-making. I try to be um, sensitive to and cognizant of that and make sure that we're applying what in my view is a different risk paradigm and a different decision-making paradigm uh, than, than everything we've done in the past. 